Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some plant-based paleo superfood bars. These are called Thunderbird. And we Thunderbird. Had, we had never seen them before. We found them at Whole Foods that were $2.49 each. We have the chocolate almond butter sea sauce, the cashew fig carrot, pecan goji pistachio. Uh, chocolate coconut cashew and hazelnut coffee maca. M-A-C-A, maca. And these are made in Texas. So... Well, it has to be Texas, the Thunderbird. On Thunderbird, yeah. Uh, Gluten-free, it says Go Texan. Certified paleo, plant-based paleo. Zero grams of added sugar. Simple ingredients. Very simple. Dates, almonds, cacao, cashews, and Himalayan pink salt. That's all that's Pretty in this. Uh, Thunderbirdbar.com. This is distributed by Gather Foods in Austin, Texas. One bar, 48 grams, is 220 calories. I like a good date bar, though, so I don't, I like dates. I don't know if you want to cut it or just take a bite of it. Uh, chocolate, almond, it smells like butter, that. sea salt. It smells like dates. It tastes like similar to an inside of a fig new. Mm -hmm. It's very dainty mm -hmm. with some nuts in there. Um, a little salt. I get the salt. Mm -hmm. Those are fine. I don't, I don't have a problem with those at all. No, it's actually really good. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't call it chocolate. No, I don't taste chocolate. No. There may be some bitterness in there from the cacao. Uh, in there just a little bit. Right. I but really do. I would just call it a date bar. It really, mm -hmm. you get the dates and the almonds. You, you know, know what I like about the dates though? If you ever have a Fig Newton, you know how it's got the little seeds off to it? Yes. This really doesn't have, I don't get no. a lot of that at least. No. This is pretty smooth. It's very smooth. Yeah, I don't get that at all. I think that's really nice. Yeah. This is, look how dark that is. That one <laughs> Well, this is um, cashew. cashew, fig, and carrot. I'm trying to cut you a smaller piece. It is 160 calories. And it says dates, figs, cashews, carrots, vanilla extract, Himalayan pink salt, and nutmeg. Mmm. Like a little better. You know what I think? It's weird because I hate them. I think it's the carrots. It adds mm -hmm. a sweetness to it. Because carrots is kind of a sweet vegetable. I think it's the nutmeg. It might be. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It just seems sweet. I can get a little bit of that carrot flavor. That's good. I like this. I like the nutmeg. It does add a lot to it. Um, I could be tasting carrot. I'm sure I know I'm tasting carrot. I do get carrot. Oh, 100% Especially the carrot. aftertaste yeah. is carrot. Um, but I like carrot. I like raw carrot, cooked carrot. I like any kind of carrot. I hate Kevin carrots, does but I still like, I like And that. he liked this bar. Um, honestly, I like the first one more because I just like the pure date flavor. Yeah. Uh, I but I like do that. like this one. This is pecan goji pistachio. And it is... The dark one too. Wow. We've really jumped up on calories. Oh no, 220. But this one was low. 160. Hmm. We went from 220 to 160. So that carrot bar was just really, really low in calorie because this one we've jumped up even higher. We've gone to 250. Hmm. And this one has dates, pecans, almonds, pistachios, Himalayan pink salt, goji berries, dried golden berries. I don't want to skew your thinking. That one to me is okay, but it doesn't come as come across as, as sweet as the first two. No, I agree. It's a little more, well, you know what I'm missing? Is the date flavor. The date flavor is kind of, or the figs or whatever it is. Date. This one, you really taste the um, the nuts. You taste- And the berry, I get the that The second flavor. ingredient is pecans. I taste pecans. Mm -hmm. I taste the pecan, it has pecans, almonds, and pistachios. 
You taste, you taste all those. those, and it's really strong. I actually like it. I don't mind it. It's just not as sweet. I like it a lot. Um, I, I, as I was chewing it, I was like, uh, do I like this as much? Now that it's gone and I have the flavor left in my mouth, it's just all that the pecans and stuff. It is. And, it's very nutty. And I really do like that flavor. Yeah, I like the flavor, but I, I, but the sweetness is gone a little bit. That, that's that's the only comment I have to make. Chocolate, coconut, I'm cashew. Really looking forward to coconut. They all look pretty much the same. Some of them are darker than others, but but the look is the same. So this one has dates, almonds, coconut. Cashews, cacao, extra virgin coconut oil, pink uh, Himalayan pink salt, and pecans. This one is 240 calories. That's my favorite one. You because that the tastes coconut. like a candy bar. Because the coconut. Yeah, that almost tastes like a, an almond oil or a mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And the chocolate, you get that. Mix of that bitterness. It doesn't really taste like chocolate, but it's a little bitterness from like a, like you would get from a dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mixed with a coconut, goes really good together. It does leave a little aftertaste of bitterness, but. It does remind you of one of those compressed coconut bars. Oh, yeah, I can Because see the coconut is so strong, but you actually do taste the uh, the chocolate in that mm -hmm. one. Yeah, that, that's um, good, that's my favorite one. Yeah, that's probably my favorite one so far too. And it's sweet. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, that coconut is, is so sweet. Really nice. So the last. If you don't one, like the texture of the, of the coconut, um, if you don't like the texture of the, the coconut pieces, though, you'll hate that. Yeah, if you don't slow. like coconut, you'll avoid that. Uh, but if if you do, then it has that. So this last That's one so is hazelnut coffee maca. It's two hundred twenty calories. Dates, hazelnuts, almonds, cacao butter, cacao powder. Vanilla extract, chia seed, yeah, coffee beans, maca powder, and Himalayan pink salt. That tastes like full-on espresso beans. Mm. Bad. I don't mind that dark chocolate, I mean a dark coffee flavor. That's my favorite. It's my second. I, like I the really bar. like the, you taste the coffee. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's all you taste really. Well, I take that back. I'm gonna go with, because now that I've swallowed it, I should wait till I swallow to judge it. Now that I've yeah, swallowed it. Yeah, because you do left with some aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Now that I've swallowed it, there's a little bit of bitter, mm -hmm. a bitterness in like my Like you have black coffee. Mm -hmm. I don't mind it. But it, it tastes like I've chewed up a coffee bean. Mm -hmm. That's the flavor I'm left with. I I'm, I'm going to say chocolate coconut cashews, number one. Yeah, I agree. But I am going to say that the hazelnut coffee is number two. Yeah, I, agree. I don't necessarily taste hazelnut because the coffee is so strong. The coffee is so strong. Um, but the fig carrot is my third. That's your third? And you'd probably pick the first one. Your I'm going to pick the... Um, I really like that one though. Yeah, you said you got more nutty out of that than I did. Yeah, I'm going to pick the pecan goji pistachio as my number three. I think if you like a date bar, a, a date based bar, mm -hmm. I think you'll like this. They're all good. There's nothing mm -hmm. wrong with any of them. They're very, very good quality. Mm -hmm. um, I think they're a nice bar. Now, they might have other flavors. These are the only ones that we were to find, uh, able to find on the day that we went to Whole Foods, and we've only seen them at Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. um, they might sell them at the fresh market. I don't know. The fresh market sells a lot of bars, um, but these are these just caught our eye mm -hmm. on that day. In, in yeah, they had food. a bunch of them. It's like, oh, those are different. Yeah, we'll try those. And I like the name Thunderbird. It, you know, it's a nice car. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've had any of them, let us know which one is your favorite. I'll have a picture for you at the end. And thanks for watching.